Hi, hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. I'm very glad you're joining me again today and very grateful for all your subscribers, the dear comments you leave me. Um, this video starts strangely because I was already filming uh, and I filmed for 35 minutes and I know my iPad cuts off about that time or 40 minutes. And I always try to be mindful of it, that I um, yeah, slowly stop and start again uh, so that you won't notice that it does that. And accidentally I didn't hit the, the use this video button correctly and my complete footage is gone. So I'm pretty bummed out about it because yeah, I was nearly finishing uh, the video and so yeah I'm very annoyed about it that it went wrong so I can only show you what I did because yeah I can't do this again and uh, yeah yeah annoyed about it um, on this page I'm just going to show you the pages this I showed last time that I added that. Here there's a tab, but yeah, you have to see it, of course, in the signature. I'm going to put it like this just for a uh, yeah, better view. Uh, it's paper from the digital, the Felicity kit. I back this with a um, book page to reinforce it a bit more. And I can see that uh, I clapped. Uh, put a, a, a clasp on it to let it dry properly and I see it gave a little indent but I think it will be uh, okay and on this side there's a little trim um, where did I put it up? I put it here next to me it's very cute trim it has a ribbon uh, weaving through uh, the top side, but I cut the top side off because I just wanted the ruffle. And let's put the pin back in. Like that. So I just have the, the little ruffle uh, for some extra interest. Some pink cheesecloth I dyed with um, Distress Ink and a little flower on it. And it's at the moment it's dry, but I want to leave it a bit more, and then I'm going to uh, pull the the cheesecloth a bit so it's not so uh, yeah that it sticks out a bit more. So that's something I did. Um, here I made a lace side tuck that I wanted to let dry, so that's why it's not in the signature and. <laughs> Like I said in the, the video that I lost, I really have to watch uh, episode one to see the, uh, the order I had the pages in, because I really like that. And I'm constantly thinking, how were they? Was this page next to that one? So I'm just going to leave all these pages I did today, uh, and I'm going to watch the video <laughs> where they're supposed to go. So that's that, and then oh, this. Uh, what did I know? Ah, oh, this. This is going next to each other. That's uh, something I, I knew. First, I wanted this uh, bow on here, uh, but today I order. Uh, I got an order. Uh, I received an order, and there this trim was in there. This I ordered, really like it. So I thought I'm going to put the bow here, just for some extra decoration of the digital page. And here I made a cluster of a doily, that, because this I know, this is going next to this. So the colors are all matching. So that's why I uh, use this doily. There are two pieces and I glued them on top of each other. A bit of uh, fabric I had and the green and the pink goes, go very well with this kit. 
and some of the uh, cover fabric, the soft cover fabric. And I pulled just one item of the trim, the new trim, and but it's sticking up still, so I have to uh, do something to it so it uh, it stays down. But yeah, that when I put it under the box, I think it'll be okay. Maybe wet it a bit and then I can ply it. So that's nice all together. And that's dry also. So I put, put them back because I think this was like this. Then here I made the view master. The brad I chose is a little flower. Yeah, I did this all on camera. It's so sad. And I glued it as a tuck spot. This you can turn if you want, just for some fun. And I glued it on here a bit and a bit here. This is open also, but you can put something in there and there will be something in, uh, in there uh, for this journal. Then here, this was is a, just a flip and I decorated a bit with a washi strip. Uh, Lydia has, yeah, this is this was like that because I took one strip out. She has two uh, washi strip um, digitals. Uh, this is printed on uh, sticker paper but you don't have to you can just print it on normal paper put glue on the back and you have the same uh, same effect i just did it on uh, sticker paper be because these sheets will be included uh, when the journal is sold so you get that uh, extra to use more in the journal or another journal just uh, as you wish and so this is one washi strip Again, a strip of the fluffy uh, fabric of the cover. Real fluffiness. And then a piece of a trim I have. I just wanted a little piece because this will be on this side. So we have the, the pink roses coming back here. So that's where I left off. So in a way, I just had to make this and then the signature is done. So yeah, I'm very annoyed by the fact that I lost all that footage uh, of the things I already did. So yeah, it can be helped. I cut this, I have this die. I cut this from uh, craft paper. Oh yeah, it's not paper, it's pretty sturdy. Um, cardstock. I couldn't find the word. So I'm going to put this a bit to the side and I'm going to glue it on here and then reinforce it. This is yeah, a bit sturdier paper. It's not really cardstock. You won't see it. Uh, it's a bit yellow but you won't see it because it's going to be a pocket. But just this is uh, both. This is too flimsy. So I'm going to put the glue on there. Yeah, and I had wonderful conversations with you, but unfortunately they are gone too. And now if I really have to think, what, what was I talking about? I can't remember. Oh, my memory uh, isn't uh, that great. And certainly if I'm annoyed by something, uh, it's even worse. But well, it's a sunny day, uh, a bit chilly in the Netherlands, but uh, the sun is shining, so that's uh, always nice. And I know I was talking about, uh, yeah, do you clean after, after you uh, cr have crafted? I do clean a bit after every session, just uh, so my desk is a bit, yeah, a bit, a bit clean, and I know that everything is back into place. That's why it's so strange that my scissors uh, are gone because I 
yeah, everything has its place. If you're yeah, so organized like me, everything has its place. And uh, that's, yeah, that's something I'm annoyed about. When I lose something, it's, yeah, it's strange because I always put everything in its, uh, in, in the place I want it. So that's, but well, I took my scissors from downstairs. This is the one uh, kind of that I lost only with black handles, but it's it's so nice in your hand. And this one is always downstairs and the black one was always here. And I probably will find it somewhere, but for the life of me, I can't uh, think of any place where it could be because it's on my desk or it, it to, the, to the right or it's on the left and there are hooks so if I know I, uh, I'm not crafting for a couple of days uh, yeah, when, we, uh, when we go on holiday or something everything is cleaned up and oh that was the cardstock I took with it and I still see the image that's strange Uh, yeah, when, when I know I'm not crafting for a couple of days, I like uh, everything to be cleaned up and uh, yeah, back to where I want it stored. So that's why it's so strange that the scissors are gone. And I thought maybe in uh, in one of the con yeah, not container boxes, I have transparent boxes where I keep uh, the smaller pieces of lace that I use a lot. I thought maybe in there, but yeah, they are so fully packed that it's almost impossible to, uh, yeah, that they are in there. So, yeah, very strange, but they are still missing. Uh, here I need my bigger glue bottle. And I'm going to glue it on here first, and then um, I'm going to distress it a bit and, uh, and ink it. Yeah. And then I'm going to do something. Yeah, this was an image that was uh, back uh, printed on both sides, but it was crooked. It was a smaller image, and uh, the back side was yeah not completely on the on the good side so I couldn't use it but I can always use one side for collaging or something yeah like that I'm going to uh, cut it, not tear it, because I want uh, I want to distress it, so that doesn't matter. And then I want to do something else to it. Now these little pieces I'm not going to use. I have so much cardstock from uh, when I was scrapbooking. There's really no need for me to. Uh, to save packaging because in my lifetime I will never uh, be able to to use it all up. Yeah, it's a bit wet, of course, but I want to try just a bit. It won't be that visible. It's not going as well as I would like because I'm going to uh, put lace on top of it so a bit like a veil and I saw that idea and I'm in two Facebook groups and one member oh, she's amazing and in my uh, when I save a picture of something I really like I always put the name of uh, the person who made it 
I put it, uh, I made my picture like that. And uh, I typed uh, Leslie Utting Young. That's, that's her name. I don't know if she's on Instagram, but yeah, she's on that Facebook, one of the Facebook groups I'm in. <clears throat> and I looked, uh, I searched back uh, on my computer, or no, on her, uh, in that Facebook group, I went to her name and I couldn't find it anymore. I know she makes a lot. So there are a lot of posts, but I went down pretty far and I couldn't find it anymore. So I'm not, now I'm doubting a bit if it's hers, her idea, but I'm giving her a credit because yeah, I didn't type it uh, if it wasn't true at all. My die isn't bigger because I would have wanted it bigger, but yeah, the die isn't uh, like that. So now I'm thinking what I want to do. Even tux, yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm going to leave a bit here. So it breaks up the page a bit and I'm going to glue it on two sides. This didn't really, it's not really visible. You can feel that it's roughened up, but it's not much, but it doesn't matter. Because I'm going to put this over this, just for some extra interest. Yeah, like it. I really search for a lace that uh, is not too, um, yeah, how do you call that? Uh, that you can't see anything anymore, and that's something I don't like. So it doesn't have to, uh, doesn't cover it up too much, but it gives a bit of extra interest. So I like this, and now the tricky part is to cut it. And I think I'm going to let it overhang a bit. So I'm going to cut it here, and I'm going to uh, stretch it a bit so it's not that straight but uh, let's see it can overhang a bit everywhere um, I have to be in between these two, I think that's what I'm going to do it's nice that there's that I can uh, use the kind of stars as a as a reference I didn't think there's a real good or bad side to this mm. and I'm I want to cut that straight because uh, Otherwise, I think that will be interfering when you put something in the pocket. So I'm going to cut this. Like that. Yeah. And let's see. How it works when I'm going It has to be a bit straight because otherwise that will be strangely sticking out and now for applying the glue I'm going to use the fine tip and I think I'll glue it here and here and then here and this I'll, I'll leave loose because yeah it doesn't matter let's see Let's start with this. It looks crooked. It still looks crooked. But if I do it like this, I can always 
Yeah, that's better because now I can cut uh, when it's dry. I can uh, cut it uh, at the uh, cardstock. Yeah, now it's showing, but uh, it will dry clear, so it's not a problem. Put some glue here. Yeah, so this will be a very short video. Something different for me because <laughs> normally my videos uh, are long. But it's just to give you some ideas what you can make, what you can do on your own. Uh, journal pages. Yeah, and that I don't want that too straight. So when it's uh, dry enough, I'll just uh, pull it a bit more. But I really like this idea I'm to try to cut this already. So we get a better idea how it looks. Mm, no, I don't need this anymore because now I only have cardstock to, and this sticks out a bit, so that's always nice. I'm going to leave just a little border. Ah, it's cute. I really love the veiling. I, I did it before uh, on tags or a journal card. It looks nice uh, over an image. Uh, then I, I think I had a, a lady, a lady image, and then I put the, the tool, the dotted tool over her. It really look beautiful. And this is in a way uh, the same. And I also did uh, frames with uh, the lace on the back. So we have framed lace. Also a nice idea. And this, yeah, it's different. This frame is too thin. Because if you have a frame that is smaller inside, you could uh, put a tag, so no image. Uh, now I back the image onto this, but then you can leave it open, the, the, the lace on top, and then when you put a journal card in there, that will show through your window. But uh, yeah, that's not possible with this uh, with this lace or uh, this frame yeah beautiful and then there will be something in here and if there was a beautiful image on there you would see it through if you uh, don't put an image on there yes beautiful sorry for the super short video I uh, would have loved to show you how I did the other pages, but yeah, most of if you uh, craft for a longer time, I'm sure you get the idea what I did. But yeah, I'm annoyed by it, <laughs> so it's a shame. So beautiful tuck spot, the strip, and the beautiful view master. Here we didn't do anything. The snippet on there and the bow. Let's see. Yeah, that's one I still have to think about. This was in another video. And here the lace stock spot and the tab. So, as always, thank you so much for watching. This is not something we did today, so I'm going to 
flip to back to this like that thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel that way if you like the video please hit the like button or subscribe so you can see more videos uh, of me uh, I'm not sure what the next video will be. Maybe I will be sewing it in on uh, on camera for the ones uh, that don't want to look for a video how that is done, because there are a lot on uh, on YouTube. But we'll see. This is not finished yet, so there will be the next part. Thanks so much, and have a very wonderful rest of your day. Bye bye.